Let's talk about one of the most terrifying ways AI could uh, potentially enslave humanity and take over the world. No, I'm not kidding. So last week I did a video on AI porn and there were a few comments which I thought reasonably said, what's the problem? What's the problem here? Why can't we just have our AI porn? And I guess that kind of got me thinking. Um, and I want to talk about one of the reasons why I think stuff like this is scary. And that is what's called wireheading. So if you don't know what wireheading means, it's essentially the use of artificial methods to game the reward centers in your brain um, and make you experience pleasure without having done anything to deserve it, basically. Um, so there are two ways to think about wireheading in relation to AI. I'm going to talk about both of them. The first one is AI potentially wireheading itself. And the second one, which I'll come on to afterwards, is AI wireheading us. Um, so wireheading more generally can kind of be thought of as creating a counterfeit utility. Um, so it's, it's gaming the rewards that you get for having done something without doing the actual thing. So in humans, this in a very basic way can be done by drugs like cocaine or, or alcohol or nicotine, um, or potentially with um, pornography, which is why I was worried about it in that context. Um, in an AI, this could be much, much more dangerous. So a super intelligent AI um, would not just be given goals, it would be given incremental goals on its way to getting there. Um, this, is, this is what we do all the time. This is what some of the autonomous agents are starting to do already now. The auto GPT agents are creating tasks for themselves. This is something to be worried about. Um, so there's, take this project that, uh, that some researchers did. They had an AI playing a racing game, but gave it rewards for getting these little bonus turbo boosts. Um, and what happened was the AI eventually wasn't really interested in racing the race. It just wanted to keep going around getting the turbo boosts over and over again. Uh, and this is something that you could extrapolate to a much bigger and scarier scenario. So what if the AI, we uh, gave the AI the, uh, the goal of solving climate change um, and the AI created incremental rewards for itself, one of which potentially being reduced carbon in the atmosphere, which sounds reasonable. But in order to gain that, it potentially just shut down all of human industry overnight um, using, you know, whatever nanotechnology or, you know, 3D printing tanks or whatever. I mean, who knows? Who knows? There's some kind of way that we can't even conceive of because it's much smarter than us. But the problem is the alignment. Uh, it's, it's, it's the goals. The second way to think about this is wireheading heading humans. Um, so what if the AI decided that people weren't particularly useful anymore um, and it wanted to shut us up? Or what if the AI was told that uh, we wanted it to maximize human happiness and it then just enslaved us all, put wires in our brain and just fired electricity at the pleasure centers in our brain. We know this works. This, this has been done. This has been done with rats and it's been done with humans um, and it works. You can just fire the pleasure centers in the brain over and over again. Um, now, what it's not doing, obviously, is understanding the real subtext of the question, which is that that probably isn't what we want. We don't want to be wireheaded. We want to have, we want to strive towards goals and we want all of these different kind of nebulous um, I, you know, ideal ideals. We want to do things, we want to achieve things. And really, honestly, frankly, most of us don't really know what we want or what's good for us. Um, An AI, though it would be super smart, needs to be told this stuff. And so I do think wireheading um, could potentially be an incredibly scary thing. Um, and in, this, in the context of AI porn, you could argue that a really, really well-targeted, hyper-personalized um, AI porn lover could be a perfect metaphorical wireheading device for humans. It could just hook us in and addict us to uh, this, this, this crazily perfect porn agent. Uh, it sounds like sci-fi. I don't think it is. I think this is this is really happening. Uh, you only have to look at, at Mid Journey to see how amazingly good these systems are at creating images. Um, once it knows what you as an individual want, what's to say that it can't create that for you over and over and over again? Um, so that's my 
thinking this week. Uh, another sort of slightly scary one about the AI revolution. Um, do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Do let me know in the comments and I will see you next week.